don't know about you, but all of this talk about a Kara is unsettling. I'm going to ask around about ways to get off the island, since I'm almost certain we're not going to want to stay. We'll have to secure another vessel, but from the looks of the village, they don't often venture past the reef. In the meantime, I'll ask you to scour the beaches for survivors of our wreck. I fear that we may be all that's left of the Calamity. Such a possibility has left me agitated. I try not to worry. Anxiety doesn't agree with me. I throw up. That's the spirit! I knew taking you on board was the right idea. That fortune teller didn't know what she was talking about. I will stay here and speak to Alder about a boat. And I'll have them send men to fetch Tari from the sandbar. I'll have dead Kel's head if it's the last thing I do. Lyria, watch over you. There's talk that you're the one that took that keep on the hill single-handed. Impressive. I haven't been here long enough to know the gentleman in question, but that Maifa woman vouches for him, and that's good enough for me. See ya. Must be one of the new arrivals. Tell me, did Cape Solace drive you out as well? I am Nesta Gwynedd. My husband Cadwallon and I have only been here a short time, but we've managed to eke out a tolerable existence on our own. Well, we did, for the scab infestation. Several months ago, my husband and I started a garden on Storm Point. It has saved our lives. Thanks to this secret spot, We've been able to fill the village stores to brimming. Now, however, scavs seem to have taken a keen interest in Storm Point as well. They wish not to fill their stores, but their bellies instead. If your goal is to ingratiate yourself to the inhabitants of this island, you've chosen the right path. You have my thanks, and the thanks of those who wish to eat. Come, we will take you to Storm Point. It's not far. Just past the boundaries of Cape Solace and Gravehall Keep. Follow me. Step carefully. Mm. Scavs will know we're coming. Oh, those little monsters can hear the hair stand up on the back of your neck. We could certainly use some assistance with those scavs. We can handle one or two at a time, but not a brood such as that. I eat scavs.
you. Our stores were running low, and it's not as easy as you'd think to gather food in these treacherous lands. There are others in the village that could use your help. In fact, I was planning to ask someone to venture down to Scuttle Beach. I saw a ship before the scabs moved in. I'm convinced it ran aground on the rocks below, but I can't be sure. Someone should check for survivors. I am forever grateful. My hero. <laughs> Last, I thought the crabs would pick my bones clean. You must set me free. Those louts can't have gotten far, if they're still alive, that is. They'll pay for their crimes, I promise you. The rogues in our prison galley cracked me upside the skull and dragged me in here. Now I know why they were in such foul moods all the time. Be a friend and free me. The lock requires a key, but it should be somewhere nearby. In the wreckage, I'd wager. Then you have my thanks. There's one honorable soul to another. The key was last seen on the bosun's belt. But he's nothing but bones now. I'd follow the crabs. Little buggers appear to have quite the hunger for rotting flesh. Carry on.
Ugh! <laughs> 